Hey all, Peyton Marine back again with another In the Crosshairs Kill Team Focus. Um, this is a Thousand Suns, so this is the last um, focus or faction focus on Kill Team that, that I have up. Um, as far as the In the Crosshairs series, I'm, there'll probably be a few more videos um, kind of covering different things that, uh, in relation to Kill Team. Um, but as far as the Kill Team covers, it's probably going to come to an end pretty quickly if this may be the last video. Um, there are a few other videos that aren't faction focused, but um, if anything, I'll probably have kind of my um, my first impressions when the game is actually officially out and I can play it. Because um, I'm making this is now technically Monday morning. It's almost 2 in the morning right now, and the pre-orders went up Saturday. Um, fortunately, the nearest Games Workshop for me is about 3 hours away, and uh, I won't be able to make it there. Um, for when it releases, so I had to pre-order from home, which means it's going to be shipped. Which then also means that uh, next Saturday, when everybody is getting it and breaking it open to play, I won't get my copy till usually Wednesday, Thursday um, of that week, which kind of kind of sucks, but uh, it is what it is. So um, I might be able to get lucky and maybe just take a random group of models and head to the local game store um, which again is still about a 45 minute drive and maybe uh, try to catch a game but unfortunately I do have some family things this weekend that uh, I probably won't be able to get out right this Saturday to do it anyway so eh, I don't know unfortunately it's going to be a little delayed but I will uh, definitely get my first impressions up I've seen a few battle reports of some of the bigger like uh, YouTube channels and um, I guess companies and stuff that kind of got um, uh, preview uh, sets already and um, I'm trying to remember which one it was I think it was Gorilla Miniature Miniature Games um, and the Gaming with the Cooler those two guys that do their videos together um, they did a, an addition, an initial kind of kill team thing, and I was like, kind of like, I was disappointed. But then I realized, well, they, I mean, they played it really kind of straightforward, just to kind of, I, I mean, they didn't preference this, but I feel like they did it that way, just to show like, just to get through the phases in the most simple, simplistic way possible, because they basically kind of just set the two model or two armies up like directly across from each other, like, like yeah, I don't know, there was. Just they both kind of just walked forward and yeah it was pretty straightforward like there was no tactics used. Um, however, then the next video they did was uh they're starting like their own campaign series and then I got to see like okay um, a little more uh, tactical thought put into it which made it actually more interesting and uh, more what I wanted to see because I was worried that uh, I don't know why I was worried in the beginning but I was like oh I hope they're not all like this. Um, but I will say one thing from that that I um, was a little disappointed on was kind of like, and again, this is just a pet peeve of mine no matter what, but the little tokens next to everything, just the housekeeping with tokens everywhere and just all these tokens littering the battlefield to me just just takes away from the aesthetic of how cool the models and the paint and the terrain and everything looks. And now you have all these little tokens everywhere. Um, but anyway, off topic for now. Um, because we're supposed to be talking about the Thousand Suns, so let's jump into that. So, as Magnus and the Thousand Suns assault real space and mass, countless smaller war, brand, war bands of Rubric Marine Sorcerers and uh, Zag, Zagnor con conduct secretive missions across the galaxy. Some are renegades, others hunters of arcane treasures, while some undertake missions of desecration and dis disestablishment on the orders of Magnus himself. In our final Kill Team focus, in the parentheses for now, we're looking at how the Thousand Suns fare in the new game of Skirmish Warfare in the 41st millennium, checking out why you might want to pick them with uh, their tactics and their units, and you'll be and units you'll be able to pick. Why play Thousand Suns? Mind bullets. The Thousand Suns are one of only two Kill Team factions, again, parentheses, so far, they can take advantage of Psychic Face, minded enemies with deadly Psybolt power. Actual bullets, even though even without their psychic powers, Thousand Sun kill teams are deadly against armor targets thanks to their armor shredding infernal bolt guns. Rolling with the changes, no two Thousand Sun kill teams need to be alike. You can field a herd of Zagnor, 
led by an aspiring sorcerer, stock up on warp flamers and rubric remains, or go for some combination of the two. All right, so jumping into the units, uh, we have an aspiring sorcerer. Uh, taken as part of a rubric marine squad, aspiring sorcerers are perfect leaders for Thousand Suns kill teams, smiting your foes with sorcerer's bolts. Uh, rubric marines. Two plus saves and kill teams? Yes, please. Rubric marines are incredibly hard to kill and tear through armor with warfire and enchanted weapons. Hmm. I guess I didn't know that rubric marines had a two up armor, but that sounds pretty good. Uh, and then I don't know if I'm saying this right, but I'm assuming it's the Zagnor or Zag, Zangor, um, fast and pretty solid in close combat. Zag Zangor complement rubric marines perfectly, as well as having access to nifty, nifty specialisms like medic. Alrighty, so jumping into the tactics, hungering warp flame. We've all been there. Um, you're ready to unleash a deadly gout of flame, and then you re then you roll for one uh, roll a one for the sh for shots. Uh, best use this tactic to be safe. So, hungry warp flame. Use this tactic in the shooting phase when you choose a model in your kill team to shoot with a warp flamer or warp flame pistol. Until the end of the phase, you can roll two dice when determining the number of attacks made by the weapon and pick the highest result. So don't roll double one. <laughs> uh, that's one command point. And then we have. Uh, movable automation should your opponent manage to finally down one of your rubrics this tactic is a great way to keep them in the fight so uh, use this tactic when a rubric marine or rubric marine gunner from your kill team is taken out of action roll a six and a four plus that model suffers a flesh wound instead uh, and that's two command points and then we have getting started you'll find rules for thousand sons and kill team core manual available to pre-order right now while for your kill team itself, you'll want to pick up a set of Rubric Marines for starters and maybe some Zangor too. So, all right, there you have it. Um, this is definitely, uh, I'm interested in these for sure. Um, just, I, I, I've always kind of loved the uh, the look of the, thousand, the new Thousand Sun models and um, having that kind of teal blue colors, it's pretty cool too. Um, and the Egyptian kind of aesthetic to everything. So definitely looking forward to getting these guys picked up as well. Um, a lot of these, aside from, like I already have Skatari, uh, Scions, of course Space Marines, um, Death Watch, um, Tyranids, and Tau. So I already have kind of like six factions that I can play. That I can think of anyway uh, right off the bat uh, and then uh, I do have orcs coming so I'll have some orcs as well um, and then pretty much everything else I'm kind of probably gonna wait and pick up as the uh, the new um, uh, kill team warband whatever box sets come out I'm still probably gonna pick up like the the space marine uh, things of old Ulrich and then the orc or I can't remember what it's called, but it has all the Burna Boys in it. Um, probably still pick those up too, just, again, for the special rules and stuff that come in there, plus, you know, orcs, and then I'll have more orcs and flamers, and then um, I'll probably paint up the uh, the fangs of Ul Ulfrich, or whatever his name is, um, as actual space wolves, and, and do that just as, you know, it's kind of a painting challenge almost to just do something different that I don't normally do. I've uh, painted a few space wolves in the past, but, you know, always looking to change things up. And plus, um, cool have a little another kill team or whatever. So, all right, well, uh, until next time, if you're enjoying the uh, the page, again, like I say, uh, check out the rest of the videos on the channel. Uh, check out my Facebook page. Uh, like, subscribe, share, hit notifications, all that stuff. So, all right, then. Well, until next time.